Hi there, I'm Dr. Ravi Gowda. Today I'm going to show you how to do a combined throat and nose swab. Now you might have received a postal kit or you might have collected the actual equipment uh, in person. So in the post you should receive first of all a request form and also a swab. It may be a different colour. You should also have a specimen bag and also finally a, a, a mailing envelope which you can sort of uh, mail it back if you are not bringing it back to, the, uh, to, to our clinic. So first things first, what we're going to do uh, is we're going to make sure that we wash our hands. Make sure you get plenty of soap when you're washing your hands and First your palms, and then the back of your hands. Make sure you wash for at least 20 seconds. Making sure you get the tips, back, the thumbs. Okay, so next is the swab. So you'll need to take this, the swab from the actual packet. And once you've taken the swab out, just bear in mind the colour is actually different <coughs> or maybe different to what you've been given. The first part of the uh, swabbing is your throat. And with the same swab, you will then swab your nose. So with your, th with your throat, um, you might gag, but that's okay, that's normal. Right? So try and uh, get a sweep and, and make sure you go all the way around to the back and rotate the swab at least five times. So once you've done that, with the same swab, go horizontally uh, into either of your nostril, go backwards as far as you can, like so, and then rotate five times. So once you've done that, open the cap, insert it back in, okay, and wash your hands. Okay, so you've taken the swab. Now there are two important steps now. First of all, you need to label the swab with your full name, your first and your surname, and also uh, your date of birth and the date of the sample. What you'll also need to do is fill out the request form again with your full name, the first name and your uh, surname, your date of birth and also the date of the sample. The specimen sample that you've got, um, you will need to uh, insert it into the specimen bag and then seal it. And once you've done that, uh, the specimen bag with the swab and the request form is then placed into the mailing envelope and sealed. Now, if you have decided to post it, then obviously you will post it. Otherwise, if you've decided to hand it back to the clinic, you can bring it back either way. So if you have any questions or queries, uh, please don't hesitate to contact us uh, either at info at travelclinics.com or give us a call on 02476 016519.